Hello everyone, I am Lily. We are back with New Super Mario Brothers Wii. We are in World 7, the sky. Let's get started. Uh, despite having my favorite uh, Koopaling as its boss, uh, I don't really much care for this world. Um, it is all in the sky, in the clouds. Um, there are varying degrees of difficulty, obviously. Uh, this especially being the first level, being one of the easier um, ones, but um, unfortunately, because we are in the sky, we are going to have a severe lack of, uh, any solid ground, uh, for the most part. Here, you know, we have some of these, like, tilting shit. <laughs> um, tilting platforms, nothing really too difficult for now. Um, but it will obviously get harder, uh, and we'll have even less to stand on, so... This one is, uh, this world can get a bit tricky. Hopefully I don't mess up too much. And there are a lot of pipes that I'm not checking. I'm gonna just go ahead and assume that that's not going to really be a problem. Okay. And I believe, yeah, we should be able to ride. So these platforms, yeah, like, they're nice and big. We have the nice, big, piped areas to actually do shit and whatnot, so it's not too bad, but, um... Come on, another... Thank you! <laughs> I was gonna say, I just need another green platform to pop up so that I can land and jump off again. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to stay this nice. Uh, I wish that were the case. I wish all of Mario could just be easy and fun and cutesy all the time. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the challenge, but sometimes I'm just like, oh god. And sometimes things are really bullshitty, but uh, that I guess can be said of all games. And cool, if we can make it, let's just go on straight to the pipe. Uh, helicopter suits will obviously help out a lot if you have them. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it'll help you, especially, um, not so much just, like, moving around, but, like, last minute saves, because as you, as we progress through here, and even, um, in the next world, um, it can be really kind of valuable, um, in case your jumps aren't perfect, because sometimes it's not that you have to be good to do it, it's that you have to be perfect, and so if you don't, you know, if you're off by just a little bit, uh, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, that's what I love about the helicopter suit, is that it does give you a little bit of, uh, wiggle room. As far as, uh, how precise you need to be, because, you know, no one is perfect and no one is gonna make every single jump every time. I'm sure that if they did, Mario wouldn't even need a life system. He could just, you know, have whatever. And I have all of that shit. Let's see, aw, oh, damn it. I had a feeling I shouldn't have gone for that one, but whatever. We want a couple things. At least the game didn't t uh, treat us like we were pathetic losers. All right. World 1, not so bad. Oh, this one, there are a couple that kind of do take place on land still. And, uh... Ah, uh, this is this one. All right. So, Chain Chomp. That's all well and good. Let's get rid of... Let's get... The Fire flower. I don't really think I'm going to be in much need of a thingy. See, so even here, even though we do have some solid ground to stand on for a lot of this level, we do also have, along with some fucking bullet bills, of course, we have a lot of, uh, we have these, like, water bubbles, which I think this is pretty new to Mario. This is the first time, surely, that I've seen this. I don't know if it was done maybe in the DS game, but I kind of don't think so. And let's see if we have some fog down here. I kind of just want to clear it. I don't think there's anything there, so we'll be fine. Um, so a lot of our navigation will actually be done through these uh, floating water bubbles, which we can swim through. And unfortunately, bullet bills do move uh, slower through them, so that makes them kind of a problem sometimes and then of course there's always the dying factor 
Oh no, Mario no, no. has his hat again. That's not cool. Come on. Let him just never have his hat. Chain chomp. Oh no. Shit. Okay, you do bounce off the post. This uh level actually has, because it has chain chomps, um, actually has kind of a tricky uh, star coin, similar to uh, a star in, um, what was it? Uh, Super Mario 64 in bob on Battlefield. There is a star that you need to get by releasing a chain chomp, and it is probably uh, one of the more difficult ones that I found in that level. Uh, which is the first level. Thank you! I wasn't sure if we could really kill the bullet bill underwater, but that is extremely helpful. And I've always hated chain chomps. They're kind of difficult to deal with. Alright. And here... Shit. Well, we're not gonna do this now. <laughs> oh, oh. Unfortunately, I will have to do this again, but I'd rather be big and try it. And then if I die, I can come back. So the tricky thing is that you want the chain chomp to be on the side with the bricks. When you release him. And there we go. <laughs> okay. We did it! No problem. I mean, other aside from the initial one. But we should be okay, generally, after that. Oh, okay, there is a, I was gonna say. Why would there be a thing here? There's no, like, Koopas around or anything. Let's see if we can jump. Okay, we can do that too. And the shitty thing is, if I die, I have to get that... What's it called again? And I see a pipe here. Okay, good. I don't know if- was that supposed to be, like, hidden? Doesn't seem very hidden. Alright. See, and sometimes I feel like, uh... Uh, you know what? Screw it. I want- I'd rather get out of here. And... Thank you kind of hard. I'm being really stupid and I'm like still holding down the dash button, which I think you kind of shouldn't do that while you're swimming. I don't think it helps at all. Um, if it does, feel free to correct me. However, I find that it doesn't really do much good. It only impedes my ability to effectively hit the... Ah, uh, shit. Well, we missed a thingy anyway. So I will have to come back in and see where that last star coin is. Alright, so I guess I'm just an idiot and I must not have backtracked at all when I came out of the pipe. I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, because I came out over here, um, but that third star coin was like totally in plain sight and I find it incredibly embarrassing that I missed it. I didn't even think to go back. But I suppose it's okay. We are back to Hatless Mario and we are done. Totally with this level now. All of the star coins have been collected. And luckily, that didn't take me very long to figure out what happened. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a long ass time and then I just get really confused. And now we can move on. And I do not like the look of these mushrooms. Uh, mushroom platforms can be kind of tricky sometimes. They can have a lot of different mechanics. Sometimes they're bouncy. Sometimes they just have giant fuzzies, which also kind of suck. And that is exactly what I was hoping it would be now, if it just doesn't fly away. These will actually fly away uh, if you're not quick enough to get them, which I think is dickish. But uh, it's like fairies in, um, in some game. Some game that I'll think of. Uh, fucking <laughs> Zelda <laughs> fucking in A Link to the Past. Um, sometimes the fairies, if you don't get them right away, they will um, just fly away. 
Sometimes you really need them and you just can't get them because they're like in a wall or some shit. All right, fucking fuzzies. Now I have the very unfortunate sneaking suspicion that I have um, like missed a vine somewhere. Although I feel like I'm in the sky. Why would I have to go higher? And I really don't like fuzzies. These are like the most like crack addicted looking enemies in Mario that I've seen or can recall. If you can think of another one, please enlighten me. I would love to know. Actually, there we go. I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, I thought I was coin heavy enough, but apparently I am not. There we go. I like this nice little path laid out. Oh shit. Well, I messed it up, but I got my star coin, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that at the very last second that did look familiar to me as an area that a vine was. So, I feel a little good about myself. <laughs> Not totally good, you know, because that would be really lame, but you know, good, good enough. Shit. Shit. You fuckers are gonna screw me. Okay, at least we're done with that shit. Okay. Let the big ass fuzzy go. I kinda don't wanna, oh shit. Okay. Maybe we'll be okay. Yes, it will leave us alone. What the hell is going on here? Please just take me to the end of the level. Oh shit. Please don't die. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know there's a platform down here. I'm just jumping ship so that I don't get killed by fuzzies. Because that all went kind of well, and I would hate to have done that again. It just kind of got fucked up near, near the end, but that's okay. And let's go... I think, like, it's a little special if you can get all of the exits in the game. I'm not sure how much that includes. I know that that can include cannons, but I don't know if it includes toad houses. So even though I don't need any lives, um, I am going to, I don't know, I had to get the three for some reason. Even though I couldn't hold any lives, I had to do the green toad house. Just so I don't forget. I think you get like sparkly stars or something, or you get an extra star at the end. I don't remember. Some, some, something stupid like that. Anyway, let's go take on our fortress and do our first fight with Ludwig von Koopa, who I still love. I think he's great. Uh, oh shit, it's this fucking dungeon? And this is only one of two- yeah, come back down. What's good about this one, if you somehow fall off this platform and don't die, um, the platform does come back for you, so you're not like screwed or anything. Which is really, really nice, because this, as far as I know, is the only way to move up. Jumping will not deactivate the platform. I think specifically leaping off of it will... I don't know. You can get squished on blocks that hold items. Um, I don't know if you can if you slowly move up on this platform. Um, uh, logic would tell me that you can, so just be careful about that. You always want to be careful whenever there's- oh shit. Whenever there's a possibility that you could be squished. Yeah, so the point of this thing is not just that it moves up, but it can move back and forth. And I have not been quite on the- oh shit! For the bonsai bills were in here. My dog is barking at something and starting to piss me off about it. Okay, I did not... I have... Probably not... Okay, good. There's our fucking other... Or there's our first star coin. Luckily, alright. And... Oh. I am going to venture a guess that it is up here. Oh. Never mind. 
find. That isn't quite what I was expecting. Well, wasn't that just about the dumbest Mario death anyone has ever seen before? And let's see if I can't fucking do it again. All I'm trying to do is get this stupid thing here. Thank you. That was all I wanted. Alright, now we got some bob bombs. We got one more uh, thingy. We have one more star coin to get and a secret exit to get. Unfortunately, I do not- oh, okay. Well, that works too, I suppose. An ice flower. In a way it does, because now I can just get rid of these things. I'm probably gonna need one is the, is the thing, so now I'm a little uh, nervous. Let's see if- no! And actually, don't blow me up. Oh, okay, that works. I think I, I feel like I just saw the star coin. If it's down here, okay. I do step on the thingy, but that is not the brilliant idea that I thought it might be. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Yeah, okay, okay. I can deal with that. <laughs> I think I ended up subconsciously remembering more about this game than I did because I remembered that there was a thing and I thought the secret exit was if you take the first raising platform all the way to the left then you could uh now I forget fuck <laughs> no toad I'm not helping you sorry um, but yeah, if you, for the first platform, uh, the first raising platform. If you take the first, uh, plat uh, raising platform and you move it all the way, um, to the left, and if you jump up there, that's how you get the second star coin, but, um... I actually thought that that was how you got the secret exit, because that was all I could remember that was kind of secret or special about this level. Um, but I'm happy that it was actually much simpler than I thought it would be, and uh, that I was somehow able to oddly remember it and be like, hey, isn't there a thing here? And I'm very happy that I decided to investigate what was above that platform. I was like, that looks like it could be something. I thought it might have been the star coin. Until I was like, wait, I think I saw the star coin? I, I'm probably wrong. That's what I needed it, this for. Oh shit. No. Platform come down here. Actually, platform come lower. And okay. And if we just blow up. Oh shit, you've gotta be kidding me. I can't believe really, I mean <laughs> it wasn't close enough. That's kinda stupid and sucky. Oh shit. I didn't jump on you. Are you not gonna be close enough either? Shit. <laughs> well this had been going well and then just kinda crapped out. I want thank you. And okay. Maybe God damn it. This is somehow turning out way harder than I thought it was going to be. And I am probably going to die again. Just hopefully not in the world's dumbest. Is that gonna not be close enough either? Thank you for fucking working finally. Good god. Okay, now I just gotta get that one to move. And good very close to the top anyway so it shouldn't be a problem all right we're good on everything else I hope that this fight isn't too terrible oh well let's just see what Ludwig has to offer us
I believe, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Maybe that's not. That's right. He has the Yoshi jump. And. What looks kind of like a homing thingy. Luckily, it's kind of easy to avoid him. While I'm trying to avoid his thingies. Aw, oh, shit. I am going to motherfucking die. Okay. It's one hit, and if I can just kind of stay on top of him. Shit. <laughs> now I'm screwed. Okay. So close. So very, very close. The thing is, I think he might unleash like more than one. Oh, never mind. Okay, that all worked out quite well. I will take it. I will gladly accept it with open arms and hug it and hold it and cherish it forever because that wasn't horrible. It wasn't good, but it wasn't horrible. Progress. It was progress. We're moving on. Very excited about that. All right, and now we can keep going on to the second half and we actually have up above what is not a hidden level, what is an actual real level of this uh, world, it's, but you have to access it through hidden means. Kind of sucks the first time and I like freaked out. I was like, what the fuck? Where is this level? How do I not have all the star coins? This is stupid. And then I figured it out and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay, we shall do the second half of uh, World 7 in the next part. Until then, thank you very much for watching. You're all amazing and awesome people, and I will see you later.